whole brain emulation, WBE, or mind uploading. Sometimes called mind copying or mind transfer is the hypothetical process of copying mental content, including long-term memory and cell from a particular brain substrate, and copying it to another computational device, such as a digital, analog, quantum-based or software-based artificial neural network. The computational device could then run a simulation model of the brain information processing. Such that it responds in essentially the same way as the original brain, i.e. indistinguishable from the brain for all relevant purposes, and experiences having a conscious mind. Mind uploading may potentially be accomplished by either of two methods, copy and transfer or gradual replacement of neurons. In the case of the former method, mind uploading would be achieved by scanning and mapping the salient features of a biological brain, and then by copying, transferring, and storing that information state into a computer system or another computational device. The physical brain being scanned may not survive the scanning and copy process. The simulated mind could be within a virtual reality or simulated world supported by an anatomic 3D body simulation model. Alternatively, the simulated mind could reside in a computer that's inside or connected to a humanoid robot or a biological body. Among some futurists and within the transhumanist movement mind uploading is treated as an important proposed life extension technology. Another aim of mind uploading is to provide a permanent backup to our mind file and a means for functional copies of human minds to survive a global disaster or interstellar space travels. Whole brain emulation is discussed by some futurists as a logical endpoint of the topical computational neuroscience and neuroinformatics fields, both about brain simulation for medical research purposes. It is discussed in artificial intelligence research publications as an approach to strong eye. Computer-based intelligence such as an upload could think much faster than a biological human even if it were no more intelligent. A large-scale society of uploads might according to future risk give rise to a technological singularity, meaning a sudden time constant decrease in the exponential development of technology. Mind uploading is a central conceptual feature of numerous science fiction novels and films. Mainstream scientists, potential research funders, and scientific journals presently remain skeptical of the feasibility of mind uploading. Substantial mainstream research in related areas is being conducted in animal brain mapping and simulation, development of faster supercomputers virtual reality, brain-computer interfaces, connectomics, and information extraction from dynamically functioning brains. Brain simulation research is dramatically cross-disciplinary, involving domains including brain imaging, computer science, neuroscience, artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, genomics, and biotechnology, psychology, philosophy, and consciousness studies. An increasingly large community of serious mind uploading researchers has emerged, taking the seemingly science fictional notion seriously and pursuing it via experimental and theoretical research programs. According to these supporters, many of the tools and ideas needed to achieve mind uploading already exist or are currently under active development, however, they will admit that others are, as yet, very speculative but still in the realm of engineering possibility. Neuroscientist Randall Kane has formed a non-profit organization called Carbon Copies to promote mind uploading research. Neuron Anatomical Model Simple Artificial Neural Network The human brain contains about 85 billion nerve cells called neurons, each individually linked to other neurons by way of connectors called axons and dendrites. Signals at the junctures, synapses, of these connections are transmitted by the release and detection of chemicals known as neurotransmitters. The established neuroscientific consensus is that the human mind is largely an emergent property of the information processing of this neural network. Importantly, neuroscientists have stated that important functions performed by the mind, such as learning, Memory and consciousness are due to purely physical and electrochemical processes in the brain and are governed by applicable laws. 
for example, Christoph Koch and Guliot Ono Nirot Nieee Spectrum. Consciousness is part of the natural world. It depends, we believe, only on mathematics and logic, and on the imperfectly known laws of physics, chemistry, and biology. It does not arise from some magical or otherworldly quality. The concept of mind uploading is based on this mechanistic view of the mind, and denies the vitalist view of human life and consciousness. Eminent computer scientists and neuroscientists have predicted that specially programmed computers will be capable of thought and even attain consciousness, including Koch and Tononi, Douglas Hofstadter, Jeff Hawkins, Marvin Minsky, Randall A. Cain, and Rodolfo Olinus. Such a machine intelligence capability might provide a computational substrate necessary for uploading. However, even though uploading is dependent upon such a general capability it is conceptually distinct from general forms of AI in that it results from dynamic reanimation of information derived from a specific human mind so that the mind retains a sense of historical identity. Other forms are possible, but would compromise or eliminate the life extension feature generally associated with uploading. The transferred and reanimated information would become a form of artificial intelligence, sometimes called an infomorph or pneumorph. Many theorists have presented models of the brain, and have established a range of estimates of the amount of computing power needed for partial and complete simulations. Using these models, some have estimated that uploading may become possible within decades, if trends such as Moore's law continue. Assuming that sufficient computing power becomes available and most of the mental functions of an average human mind are programmed in software, there remains the question of how much of a person's memories would be required to qualify as an uploaded mind. In addition to memories of basic skills and knowledge that we learn as children, there are countless memories that make each person's mind different from other people's. Would a person's memories of a childhood disease, or a bicycle accident, or a sports trophy received, or images of numerous friends, and what they said years ago be required in such a mind upload? These are issues that would have to be addressed. Theoretical Benefits Immortality Slash Backup Digital Immortality in theory, if the information and processes of the mind can be disassociated from the biological body, they are no longer tied to the individual limits and lifespan of that body. Furthermore, information within a brain could be partly or wholly copied or transferred to one or more other substrates, including digital storage, or another brain, thereby, from a purely mechanistic perspective, reducing or eliminating mortality risk of such information. This general proposal appears to have been first made in the biomedical literature, in 1971, by biogerontologist George M. Martin, of the University of Washington. Speed up If Moore's law holds, within a few decades, a supercomputer might be able to simulate the human brain at neural level at faster perceived speed than a biological brain. However, the exact date is difficult to estimate due to limited understanding of the required accuracy, and computational speed is not the only requirement for making full human brain simulation possible. Several contradictory predictions have been made about when a whole human brain can be emulated, for example 2045 has been suggested by Ray Kurzweil, some of the predicted dates have already passed. Given that the electrochemical signals that brains use to achieve thought travel at about 150 meters per second, while the electronic signals in computers are sent at the speed of light, 300 million meters per second, this means that a massively parallel electronic counterpart of a human biological brain in theory might be able to think thousands to millions of times faster than our naturally evolved systems. Also, neurons can generate a maximum of about 200 to 1,000 action potentials, or spikes per second, whereas the clock speed of microprocessors has reached 5.5 GHz in 2013, which is about 5 million times faster, and is expected to increase by at least a factor of 100. However, the human brain contains roughly 86 billion neurons, with 86 trillion synapses connecting them. 
replicating each of these as separate electronic components using microchip-based semiconductor technology would require a computer enormously large in comparison with today's supercomputers. In a less futuristic implementation, time shearing would allow several neurons to be emulated sequentially by the same computational unit. Thus the size of the computer would be restricted, but the speed up would be lower. Assuming that cortical many columns organized into hypercolumns are the computational units, mammal brains can be emulated by today's supercomputers, but with slower speed than in a biological brain. Relevant Technologies and Techniques The Focus of Mind Uploading in the case of copy and transfer, is on data acquisition, rather than data maintenance of the brain. A set of approaches known as loosely coupled offloading, LCOL, may be used in the attempt to characterize and copy the mental of a brain. The LCOL approach may take advantage of self-reports, life logs, and video recordings that can be analyzed by artificial intelligence. A bottom-up approach may focus on the specific resolution and morphology of neurons, the spike times of neurons, the times at which neurons produce action potential responses. Computational complexity Estimates of how much processing power is needed to emulate the human brain at various levels, from Ray Kurzweil, and the chart to the left, along with the fastest supercomputer from top 500 mapped by year. Note the logarithmic scale and exponential trend line, which assumes the computational capacity doubles every 1.1 years. Kurzweil believes that mind uploading will be possible at neural simulation, while the Sandberg-Bostrom report is less certain about where consciousness arises. Advocates of mind uploading point to Mara's law to support the notion that the necessary computing power is expected to become available within a few decades. However, the actual computational requirements for running an uploaded human mind are very difficult to quantify potentially rendering such an argument specious. Regardless of the techniques used to capture or recreate the function of a human mind, the processing demands are likely to be immense, due to the large number of neurons in the human brain along with the considerable complexity of each neuron. In 2004, Henry Markram, lead researcher of the Blue Brain Project has stated that it is not their goal to build an intelligent neural network based solely on the computational demands such a project would have. It will be very difficult, because, in the brain, every molecule is a powerful computer, and we would need to simulate the structure and function of trillions upon trillions of molecules as well as all the rules that govern how they interact. You would literally need computers that are trillions of times bigger and faster than anything existing today. Five years later, after successful simulation of part of a rat brain, the same scientist was much more bold and optimistic. In 2009, when he was director of the Blue Brain Project, he claimed that a detailed, functional artificial human brain can be built within the next 10 years. Require computational capacity strongly depend on the chosen level of simulation model scale. Level CPU demand, flops, memory demand, TB, $1 million supercomputer, earliest year, of making, analog network population model 1015-102-2008 spiking neural network 1018-104-2019 electrophysiology 1022-104-2033 mate abalom 1025-106-2044 prosome 1026-107-2048 states of protein complexes 1027 108 2052 distribution of complexes 1030 109 2063 stochastic behavior of single molecules 1043 1014 2111 estimates from Sandberg, Bostrom, 2008. Simulation model scale. A high level cognitive IE model of the brain architecture is not required for brain emulation. Simple Neuron Model, Black Box Dynamic Nonlinear Signal Processing System Metabolism Model, the movement of positively charged ions through the ion channels controls the membrane electrical action potential in an axon.
since the function of the human mind and how it might arise from the working of the brain's neural network are poorly understood issues. Mind uploading relies on the idea of neural network emulation. Rather than having to understand the high-level psychological processes and large-scale structures of the brain and model them using classical artificial intelligence methods and cognitive psychology models, the low-level structure of the underlying neural network is captured, mapped, and emulated with a computer system. In computer science terminology, dubious discuss rather than analyzing and reverse engineering the behavior of the algorithms and data structures that resides in the brain, a blueprint of its source code is translated to another programming language. The human mind and the personal identity then, theoretically, is generated by the emulated neural network in an identical fashion to it being generated by the biological neural network. On the other hand, a molecule-scale simulation of the brain is not expected to be required, provided that the functioning of the neurons is not affected by quantum mechanical processes. The neural network emulation approach only requires that the functioning and interaction of neurons and synapses are understood. It is expected that it is sufficient with a black box signal processing model of how the neurons respond to nerve impulses, electrical as well as chemical synaptic transmission. A sufficiently complex and accurate model of the neurons is required. A traditional artificial neural network model, for example multilayer perceptron network model, is not considered as sufficient. A dynamic spiking neural network model is required, which reflects that the neuron fires only when a membrane potential reaches a certain level. It is likely that the model must include delays, nonlinear functions, and differential equations describing the relation between electrophysical parameters such as electrical currents, voltages, membrane states, ion channel states, and neuromodulators. Since learning and long-term memory are believed to result from strengthening or weakening the synapses via a mechanism known as synaptic plasticity or synaptic adaptation, the model should include this mechanism. The response of sensory receptors to various stimuli must also be modeled. Furthermore, the model may have to include metabolism, i.e., how the neurons are affected by hormones and other chemical substances that may cross the blood-brain barrier. It is considered likely that the model must include currently unknown neuromodulators, neurotransmitters, and ion channels. It is considered unlikely that the simulation model has to include protein interaction, which would make it computationally complex. A digital computer simulation model of an analog system such as the brain is an approximation that introduces random quantization errors and distortion. However, the biological neurons also suffer from randomness and limited precision, for example due to background noise. The errors of the discrete model can be made smaller than the randomness of the biological brain by choosing a sufficiently high variable resolution and sample rate and sufficiently accurate models of nonlinearities. The computational power and computer memory must however be sufficient to run such large simulations, preferably in real time. Scanning and mapping scale of an individual When modeling and simulating the brain of a specific individual, a brain map, or connectivity database showing the connections between the neurons must be extracted from an anatomic model of the brain. For whole brain simulation, this network map should show the connectivity of the whole nervous system, including the spinal cord, sensory receptors, and muscle cells. Destructive scanning of a small sample of tissue from a mouse brain including synaptic details is possible, as of 2010. However, if short-term memory and working memory include prolonged or repeated firing of neurons as well as intraneural dynamic processes, the electrical and chemical signal state of the synapses and neurons may be hard to extract. The uploaded mind may then perceive the memory loss of the events and mental processes immediately before the time of brain scanning. A full brain map has been estimated to occupy less than 2 by 1016 bytes, 20,000 TERABYTES, and would store the addresses of the connected neurons, the synapse type, and the synapse weight, for each of the brain's 1015 synapses.
not in citation given however, the biological complexities of true brain function, e.g. the epigenetic states of neurons, protein components with multiple functional states, etc., may preclude an accurate prediction of the volume of binary data required to faithfully represent a functioning human mind. Serial sectioning Serial sectioning of a brain A possible method for mind uploading is serial sectioning, in which the brain issue, and perhaps other parts of the nervous system are frozen, and then scanned and analyzed layer by layer, which for frozen samples at nanoscale requires a cryo-ultramicrotome, thus capturing the structure of the neurons and their interconnections. The exposed surface of frozen nerve tissue would be scanned and recorded, and then the surface layer of tissue removed. While this would be a very slow and labor-intensive process, research is currently underway to automate the collection and microscopy of serial sections. The scans would then be analyzed, and a model of the neural network created in the system that the mind was being uploaded into. There are uncertainties with this approach using current microscopy techniques. If it is possible to replicate neuron function from its visible structure alone, then the resolution afforded by a scanning electron microscope would suffice for such a technique. However, as the function of brain tissue is partially determined by molecular events, particularly at synapses, but also at other places on the neuron cell membrane, this may not suffice for capturing and simulating neuron functions. It may be possible to extend the techniques of serial sectioning and to capture the internal molecular makeup of neurons through the use of sophisticated immunohistochemistry staining methods that could then be read by a confocal laser scanning microscopy. However, as the physiological genesis of mind is not currently known, this method may not be able to access all of the necessary biochemical information to recreate a human brain with sufficient fidelity. Brain Imaging Process from MRI Acquisition to Whole Brain Structural Network Magnetoencephalography It may also be possible to create functional 3D maps of the brain activity using advanced neuroimaging technology such as functional MRI, fMRI, for mapping change in blood flow, magnetoencephalography, MEG, for mapping of electrical currents, or combinations of multiple methods to build a detailed three-dimensional model of the brain using non-invasive and non-destructive methods. Today, fMRI is often combined with MEG for creating functional maps of human cortex during more complex cognitive tasks, as the methods complement each other. Even though current imaging technology lacks the spatial resolution needed to gather the information needed for such a scan, important recent and future developments are predicted to substantially improve both spatial and temporal resolutions of existing technologies. Current Research Neuroinformatics This article duplicates, in whole or part, the scope of other article, S, or section, S, specifically, Neuroinformatics pound sign research achievements. Please discuss this issue on the talk page and conform with Wikipedia's manual of style by replacing the section with a link and a summary of the repeated material or by spinning off the repeated text into an article in its own right. January 2012 Several animal brains have been mapped and at least partly simulated. Simulation of C. elegans roundworm neural system. Brain map of the C. elegans roundworm 302 neurons interconnected by 5,000 synapses. The connectivity of the neural circuit for touch sensitivity of the simple C. elegans nematode roundworm was mapped in 1985 and partly simulated in 1993. Several software simulation models of the complete neural and muscular system, and to some extent the worm's physical environment, have been presented since 2004, and are in some cases available for downloading. However, we still lack understanding of how the neurons and the connections between them generate the surprisingly complex range of behaviors that are observed in this relatively simple organism. The Open Worm Project, an open source project dedicated to creating a virtual C. Elegans nematode in a computer by reverse engineering its biology, has now developed software that replicates the worm's muscle movement. Simulation of Drosophila fruit fly neural system. 
The brain belonging to the fruit fly Drosophila is also thoroughly studied and to some extent simulated. The Drosophila connectome, a complete list of the neurons and connections of the brain of Drosophila, is likely to be available in the near future. Rodent Brain Simulation An artificial neural network described as being as big and as complex as half of the mouse brain was run on an IBM Blue Gene supercomputer by a University of Nevada research team in 2007. A simulated time of one second took 10 seconds of computer time. The researchers said they had seen biologically consistent nerve impulses flowed through the virtual cortex. However, the simulation lacked the structures seen in real mice brains and they intend to improve the accuracy of the neuron model. Blue Brain is a project launched in May 2005 by IBM and the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne with the aim to create a computer simulation of a mammalian cortical column down to the molecular level. The project uses a supercomputer based on IBM's Blue Gene design to simulate the electrical behavior of neurons based upon their synaptic connectivity and complement of intrinsic membrane currents. The initial goal of the project, completed in December 2006, was the simulation of rat neocortical column, which can be considered the smallest functional unit of the neocortex, the part of the brain thought to be responsible for higher functions such as conscious thought containing 10,000 neurons and 108 synapses. Between 1995 and 2005, Henry Marker mapped the types of neurons and their connections in such a column. In November 2007, the project reported the end of the first phase, delivering a data-driven process for creating, validating, and researching the neocortical column. The project seeks to eventually reveal aspects of human cognition and various psychiatric disorders caused by malfunctioning neurons such as autism and to understand how pharmacological agents affect network behavior. An organization called the Brain Preservation Foundation was founded in 2010 and is offering a brain preservation technology prize to promote exploration of brain preservation technology in service of humanity. The prize, currently $106,000, will be awarded in two parts, 25%, to the first international team to preserve a whole mouse brain, and 75% to the first team to preserve a whole large animal brain, in a manner that could also be adopted for humans in a hospital or hospice setting immediately upon clinical death. Ultimately the goal of this prize is to generate a whole brain map which may be used in support of separate efforts to upload and possibly reboot a mind in virtual space. Issues Philosophical Issues Underlying the concept of mind uploading more accurately mind copying is the broad philosophy that consciousness lies within the brain information processing and is in essence an emergent feature that arises from large neural network high-level patterns of organization and that the same patterns of organization can be realized via other processing devices. Mind uploading also relies on the idea that the human mind, the self, and the long-term memory, just like animal minds, are represented by the current neural network paths and the weights of the brain synapses rather than by a dualistic and mystic soul and spirit. The mind or soul can be defined as the information state of the brain and is immaterial only in the same sense as the information content of a data file or the state of a computer software currently residing in the workspace memory of the computer. Data specifying the information state of the neural network can be captured and copied as a computer file from the brain and re-implemented into a different physical form. This is not to deny that minds are richly adapted to their substrates. An analogy to the idea of mind uploading is to copy the temporary information state, the variable values, of a computer program from the computer memory to another computer and continue its execution. The other computer may perhaps have different hardware architecture, but emulates the hardware of the first computer. These issues have a long history. In 1775 Thomas Reed wrote, I would be glad to know 
whether when my brain has lost its original structure, and when some hundred years after the same materials are fabricated so curiously as to become an intelligent being, whether I say that being will be me, or if two or three such beings should be formed out of my brain, whether they will all be me, and consequently one and the same intelligent being. A considerable portion of transhumanists and singularitarians place great hope into the belief that they may become immortal by creating one or many non-biological functional copies of their brains, thereby leaving their biological shell. However, the philosopher and transhumanist Susan Schneider claims that it would create a creature clarification needed who has slashes a computational copy clarification needed of the original person's mind. Susan Schneider agrees that consciousness has a computational basis, but this doesn't mean we can upload and survive. Uploading would probably result in the death of the original person's brain, while only outside observers can maintain the illusion of the original person still being alive. For it is implausible to think that one's consciousness would leave one's brain and travel to a remote location, ordinary physical objects. In the macroscopic world do not behave this way clarification needed at best, a computational duplicate of the original is created clarification needed. Buddhist transhumanist James Hughes has pointed out that this consideration only goes so far if one believes the self is an illusion. Worries about survival are not reasons to avoid uploading. Another potential consequence of mind uploading is that the decision to upload may then create a mindless symbol manipulator instead of a conscious mind. See Philosophical Zombie. Are we to assume that an upload is conscious if it displays behaviors that are highly indicative of consciousness? Are we to assume that an upload is conscious if it verbally insists that it is conscious? Could there be an absolute upper limit in processing speed above which consciousness cannot be sustained? The mystery of consciousness precludes a definitive answer to this question. Numerous scientists, including Kurzweil, strongly believe that determining whether a separate entity is conscious with 100% confidence is fundamentally unknowable, since consciousness is inherently subjective. See solipsism. Regardless, some scientists strongly believe consciousness is the consequence of computational processes which are independent of substrate. On the contrary, numerous scientists believe consciousness may be the result of some form of quantum computation dependent on substrate, see quantum mind. Legal, Ethical, Political and Economical Issues The section does not cite any references or sources. Please help improve this section by adding citations to reliable sources. Unsourced material may be challenged and removed. January 2012 the only limited physical resource to be expected in a simulated world is the computational capacity, and thus the speed and complexity of the simulation. Wealthy or privileged individuals in a society of uploads might thus experience more subjective time than others in the same real time, or may be able to run multiple copies of themselves or others, and thus produce more service and become even more wealthy. Others may suffer from computational resource starvation and show a slow motion behavior. Eventually, the most powerful beings may attempt to eliminate all other beings in competition for resources. If simulated minds would come true, and if they were assigned rights of their own, it may be difficult to ensure the protection of digital human rights. For example, social science researchers might be tempted to secretly expose simulated minds or whole isolated societies of simulated minds to controlled experiments in which many copies of the same minds are exposed serially or simultaneously to different test conditions, copying versus moving. The section does not cite any references or sources. Please help improve this section by adding citations to reliable sources. Unsourced material may be challenged and removed. January 2012 A philosophical issue with mind uploading is whether the newly generated digital mind is really the same sentience or simply an exact copy with the same memories and personality. This issue is especially obvious when the original remains essentially unchanged by the procedure, thereby resulting in a copy which could potentially have rights separate from the unaltered, obvious original. 
Most projected brain scanning technologies, such as serial sectioning of the brain, would necessarily be destructive, and the original brain would not survive the brain scanning procedure. But if it can be kept intact, the computer-based consciousness could be a copy of the still-living biological person. It is in that case implicit that copying a consciousness could be as feasible as literally moving it into one or several copies, since these technologies generally involve simulation of a human brain in a computer of some sort, and digital files such as computer programs can be copied precisely. It is assumed that once the versions are exposed to different sensory inputs, their experiences would begin to diverge, but all their memories up until the moment of the copying would remain the same. The problem is made even more apparent through the possibility of creating a potentially infinite number of initially identical copies of the original person, which would of course all exist simultaneously as distinct beings with their own emotions and thoughts. The most parsimonious view of this phenomenon is that the two, or more, minds would share memories of their past, but from the point of duplication would simply be distinct minds. Depending on computational capacity, the simulation may run at faster or slower simulation time as compared to the elapsed physical time, resulting in that the simulated mind would perceive that the physical world is running in slow motion or fast motion respectively, while biological persons will see the simulated mind in fast or slow motion respectively. A brain simulation can be started, paused, backed up and rerun from a saved backup state at any time. The simulated mind would in the latter case forget everything that has happened after the instant of backup, and perhaps not even be aware that it is repeating itself. An older version of a simulated mind may meet a younger version and share experiences with it. An exocortex one proposed route for mind uploading. As a person's personality gradually moves away from the aging biological brain and onto the exocortex. Mind Uploading in Science Fiction Mind Uploading Advocates Ray Kurzweil, Director of Engineering at Google, claims to know and foresee that people will be able to upload their entire brains to computers and become digitally immortal by 2045. Kurzweil made this claim for many years, e.g., during his speech in 2013 at the Global Futures 2045 International Congress in New York which claims to subscribe to a similar set of beliefs. Mind uploading is also advocated by a number of researchers in neuroscience and artificial intelligence, such as Marvin Minsky. In 1993, Joe Strout created a small website called the Mind Uploading Homepage and began advocating the idea in cryonic circles and elsewhere on the net. That site has not been actively updated in recent years, but it has spawned other sites including mendiploading.org, run by Randall A. Kane, Ph.D., who also moderates a mailing list on the topic. These advocates see mind uploading as a medical procedure which could eventually save countless lives. Many transhumanists look forward to the development and deployment of mind uploading technology, with transhumanists such as Nick Bostrom predicting that it will become possible within the 21st century due to technological trends such as Moore's Law. The book Beyond Humanity, Cyber Evolution, and Future Minds by Gregory S. Paul and Earl D. Cox is about the eventual and, to the authors, almost inevitable evolution of computers into sentient beings but also deals with human mind transfer. Richard Doyle's Wetware's Experiments in Post-Vital Living deals extensively with uploading from the perspective of distributed embodiment, arguing for example that humans are currently part of the artificial life phenotype. Doyle's vision reverses the polarity on uploading. With artificial life forms such as uploads actively seeking out biological embodiment as part of their reproductive strategy. Raymond Kurzweil, a prominent advocate of transhumanism and the likelihood of a technological singularity, has suggested that the easiest path to human level artificial intelligence may lie in reverse engineering the human brain, which he usually uses to refer to the creation of a new intelligence based on the general principles of operation of the brain, but he also sometimes uses the term to refer to the notion of uploading individual human minds based on highly detailed scans and simulations. 
This idea is discussed on pages 198-203 of his book The Singularity is Near. For example,